All right, okay, I'm back. So hopefully the sound is better this time. I wanted to ask, uh, touch uh, on uh, the color uh, management policies that a few users ever they're touching. Ask when opening, when profile mismatches, missing profile, ask when opening, missing profile. So let's see the consequence of these checkboxes. I want to click OK and open a file, a file that I recently opened. So let's see how this file opens. Ah, you see there is this missing profile dialog box that appears. Why this profile, this dialog box appear? Because the document, whatever its name is, does not have an embedded profile, whether RGB or CMYK or grayscale, depending on the type of image being open. So what are my choices? A logical way to proceed is to assign the work in RGB. Why? Because the work in RGB should be, you know, some kind of a default, some kind of common sense choice. And in this case, ECI RGB is not the best choice. Uh, I usually have my system set up for sRGB, which is a smaller gamut size, but You'll see the effect of using a larger and smaller gamut size on untagged images, images that we have no idea where they come from and uh, how they're supposed to appear because the document does not have an embedded RGB profile. An embedded RGB profile is like a roadmap. It tells us how to interpret the color inside Photoshop. And if we don't have that critical information, well, we're in the dark and we're going to have to, you know, grope around and uh, hopefully make our way to something that is satisfactory. And it's uh, kind of uh, useful at that point also, uh, as you'll see, to have a calibrated uh, monitor profile. Otherwise, we're in the dark. So go back to this one. This is the default. Ah, as you can see, the colors are quite saturated and their skin tones, uh, you know, may be on the red, on the red. Uh, one of the ways that you can tell that they're on the red is if you look, take a look at the LAB readout in my info palette, you will see that the A is a lot higher than the B value. The A is 27 and the B is 17. Uh, you know, typical skin tone uh, would have equal parts of A and equal parts of B. Uh, that's typical for uh, Caucasian skin tones. If I open up uh, this image over here, which is my Macbeth. Uh, do I have my Macbeth? Uh, my Macbeth. I'm looking for my Macbeth. Uh, Okay, in RGB, ECI RGB, doesn't matter what it, the space is as long as it's accurate. You see this skin tone? This skin tone says 67, 16, 18. See the content, the relative content of the A and B is such that there's a slightly higher yellow content than red content. That's what's denoted by the difference uh, between the A and the B. A is 16 and B is 18. I cannot, uh, if I leave the window uh, to show you, uh, you see the uh, info palette is not going to show the readout. So I'm stuck uh, leaving my cursor, my color picker tool for the moment on the patch. So you can see for yourself the readout in LEB. Okay, so that's a uh, starting point. So how far are we from 1618 over here? Well quite a distance 2518 you see the difference now it uh, the choice of ICC profile can influence the starting uh, value of the of the color for the same pixels you see this 238 192 179 RGB readout over here if I hit uh, using the shift key if I hit uh, click uh, this tone, the RGB value is going to remain there. Now if I assign a different profile, 
supposedly assigned sRGB. Uh, you see this is what's on the left represents before and what's on the right represents after. So whether I check or check off the preview button it doesn't have an influence on the RGB because the pixels values remains the same. Now what does change with the different uh, ICC profile because you visually see that the image is different, appears differently uh, what does change is the LEB readout. See by going from whatever it was ECI to sRGB now uh, we have gone down from 30 in A to 18 in A and down from 21 in B to 15 in B. That's a huge move, it's a huge shift and that was done strictly through uh, change in ICC profile. So at that point if I wanted to further uh, arrange or fix the, the skin I could you know use uh, whatever uh, tools that uh, happens to be in Photoshop for instance the selective color tool and if I go <coughs> sorry <coughs> to the reds I can add cyan to the reds and you'll see what it does cyan kills red and uh, the A has gone down from 16 to 12 that's what we expected I'm gonna bring this back to zero now if I wanted to take a little bit of the red so it's possible to add just a tad, let's say two what, it, what does two do? two brings us back from 17 and hasn't touched the uh, yellow yet so let's go up a little bit, let's go to four what does four do? four cyan uh, 16, 14 hasn't touched it yet so now let me uh, try bringing down the magenta directly see what it does oops look at that we're at 15 15 before after now it's hard to convince ourselves that this is a good uh, skin tone but in my book wouldn't be that bad the only problem is here the, the, the hand you see the hand does not have enough magenta content so we would need uh, probably a selection and bring the magenta content up to uh, balance that out with the face because you know it doesn't make sense but there's a lot that can be done with uh, uh, ICC profile as far as uh, managing color or even retouching color let's say for instance let me check uh, let me start off an uh, sRGB and make uh, a special sRGB profile so if I call it let's say D50 sRGB and if I change here this to 5000k leave everything the same <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> now I have a D50 or I, I forgot to add D50 sRGB let me see if I can fix that D50 sRGB click OK and it can, I can have a D50 sRGB of 1.8 uh, let's try D50 of 1.8 without touching the rest click OK and uh, you can even save this profile if I'm not mistaken see save RGB that's an ICC profile that's being saved right now into the default color um, color folder on my Windows systems click save may become may come handy at some in the future click OK and uh, now let's see if I can assign this image this profile to the image this is 5000k so in in terms of Photoshop here the white point is not gonna make a difference from 6500 to 5000 because Photoshop ignores the mid the white point uh, for the purpose of color of managing the display but it will not ignore the 1.8 gamma compared to the 2.8 gamma 2.2 gamma you see the difference this is similar to color match RGB or Apple RGB in terms of gamma it makes the image uh, appear overall lighter but I wouldn't necessarily want that in this case but what if I start off an image that is darker too dark to begin with 
let's see if I have something that looks uh, that way uh, I'm gonna use this uh, profile let's see this is as RGB so I used it so now let's say I want to uh, lighten this overall let's see go over here assign profile and why not just hit the 50s RGB you see but I should have add here 1.8 so that we get a better guide and I could use this make also a, a, a 1.4 gamma even lighting up even more the scene let's see if I can do that edit assign profile up oh, not here sorry edit color settings and over here in color settings let me go back to custom RGB and why don't I do 1.4 and call it this the 50 sRGB 1.4 that way I have a better track of what to do so edit assign profile and why not go 1.4 look at how it lightens the image and I haven't used any of the color uh, uh, retouching tools I haven't touched curves I haven't done nothing and all it does it has changed the interpretation of the image uh, so that's quite striking so I I leave it at that but I wanted to uh, show a little bit of assigning profiles and show color management policies uh, in Photoshop thank you for watching